I'm still in the doghouse for the current status of the side yard. Apparently, the girl thinks we look like trailer trash. Who would have thought? I'm gonna get through all that. Kindling. This is all American basswood behind me, super light, um, not dense at all. There's actually pine trees and firs that put out more heat than this. So it's horrible for heating. However, what it is good for is kindling. It dries very quickly. And once it is dry, you could light it with a match. So if you need to get your fire going, throw one of these things in. I'm actually gonna go a little bit smaller try some in my fireplace and then I'm also gonna just dish some out for free when people buy bundles and see how it's received. So that's the plan, let's get to it. All right, so here we go. This stuff is so light. And for this first one, I am just going to cut it into one inch squares here. So let's see how this goes. That's a little big there. We'll go a little small.
too much time. Uh, compared to this right here, I just did some outdoor wood for me. For the summer, this probably took me 15 minutes. This probably took me 45 minutes. Uh, it's ridiculous. And I don't know if it's gonna be even worth it. So I think what I'm gonna do is get these two out of here bring two more IVC totes in and then meet in the middle. I'll do my normal size bundle wood, nice little squares, skinless, boneless, as Jake would say. Um, and then if people do like the kindling or I find that it's selling or people like that I'm giving it to them with, a, with their bundles, I will always be able to take the small squares, re-split them on the splitter and knock them down into kindling fairly quickly but I just I can't be I'm gonna be out here all night doing kindling I can't do it I can't do it there we go All right, round two. This took, I don't know, maybe half the time. Actually, let's check. I started at 4.15. Okay, it's five o'clock. Five o'clock on Cinco de Mayo. You know what that means. <laughs> I'm done for today. Grabbing a couple margaritas. Do have a couple uh, logs left. All right, flash forward Saturday mornings. Oh yeah, brother. The last little bit of the rounds that were stacked on the garage, but we're done. And uh, now it's time to get that final number. We've got two half totes here, so we'll call this one face cord, and then I've got four face cords of hickory sitting here. I'll take it around back. So I've got one face cord. Well, it was one face cord when I stacked it on my front porch here um, that I have been burning with. So believe it or not, it's May, early May, and we're still burning. We had snow the other day. Uh, so in addition to those five over here, that would put us at six. And here's where I stockpile everything else. These are neatly stacked, so we're gonna call them a face cord. Um, so that's gonna be seven. Then we got the full kindling face cord, which was a pain in the butt. Won't be doing that again. Uh, eight, nine, 10. Then we get into the hard maple here, Let's see. That's going to be 11 there, and then they go loose stacked. So we're going to have to round down on those. Those aren't going to be a full face cord. Um, we'll just subtract one. So that's going to put us at 12, 13, 14. And then I got this half, half face cord of cherry that I stumbled upon in that mix. So um, let's just be safe, round down. 13 face cord out of the deal. Um, 
I originally said, according to my calculations, I'd get 14. So we did have a lot of waste and it was a huge pain in the butt, but uh, I was pretty close. So the wood's stacking up, starting to get a good stockpile here. Um, get it dry and get it out of here. Good boys, a couple of good boys. All right, dudes, that's all I got me today. That's all I got for this video. Overall, 13, 14 face cord. I'm not upset with the purchase. Couple hundred dollars, can't beat it. Yeah, it was a ton of work. Yeah, it was a big mess. Learned a bunch, got a bunch of good wood out of it. So I'll be sitting here cleaning this up, rethinking uh, everything I just did wrong, getting this thing out of the garage. If you have a better method, or you think you have a better method, trust me, I've, I thought I thought of everything. I took the wheels off, still too high. Really the only thing I could think of was the tilt it, and obviously you saw it didn't really work out for me. Yeah, so do all the other things, like comment, subscribe. I'll be here stoking this fire for the next few hours. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, come on back. I'm sure we'll be doing some shenanigans again in the next one. Take care, fellas.